Hi everyone. In this video we'll go through the process of extracting data from the individual Google Maps place using Python and Serp API, which returns a JSON that includes everything that you see in the browser. Before moving on to the code part, we need to understand a little bit what data SERP API requires in order to return data from the right place. As an example, let's say we're searching for some random burger place in Seattle, and we decided that we want to extract all information from Burger Madness Seattle. To extract data from this specific place, we need the data place ID with latitude and longitude, which is located inside the place URL. We'll show you two ways how to do it. The first one is manual if you already have a list of place URLs, and the second one, using SERP API Local Results API. The first approach requires to parse parts of the data from the URL using regular expression. Now hold, we know that the URL looks like a madness, so let's deconstruct it. The first thing we should look at is data URL parameter which holds the data we need. Here's how we can parse data ID, latitude and longitude with regular expression. The final step would be to combine parsed URL data with required SERP API format which you can find in the documentation. We want to emphasize, the format should be exactly the same as you see on the screen, and as in the documentation. Now we can pass this data ID to SERP API and SERP API will return the right place data. You can find link to the regular expression showcase so you can use it yourself. Keep in mind that shown regular expression is extremely basic just for demonstration purpose. The second approach if you don't want to do all of this, or if don't have a list of place URLs. Our Google Maps Local Results API has a place ID search key that contains URL which leads to the right place, so there's no need to parse anything from the URL. All that needs to be done is to call place ID search hash key and make another request to the returned URL from the JSON, and extract place results data afterwards. Now to the actual explanation. To get started, head over to SERP API Playground and make sure you're on the Google Maps Search API. Make sure that search type is set to place, which tells SERP API to extract data from individual place. Pass your data ID parameter and change localization options if you need. Note that in our previous Google Maps video, we also pass GPS coordinates and a query. In this case, both of these parameters are not needed, because this data is already in data ID parameter. Don't forget to use export to code playground feature to generate boilerplate code for you. Now to the actual code. It's extremely simple. In this example, we shows you the whole JSON output along with the access title. And here's what the output would look like. If you have any questions or confusions, leave us a comment in the comments section, or ask us a question at Twitter using AskSERP API hashtag. If you want to add new API support or found a bug, you can report it at our public roadmap repository. We hope you found this video useful. See you in the next one.